Hey, what's up, guys? It's Joko. Welcome back to Life is Strange. This time we're going to be playing episode 4, The Dark Room. So let's not hesitate because I'm actually really looking forward to this one because shit went down in episode 3. Well, the last, the ending at least. But man, I can't wait. Let's just, just, let's just do it. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than friends. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield, hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. You baby crap. Another baby crap. Square Enix. Those are some... Oh, okay. Don't nod entertainment. What is that? It looks like a rock, but it doesn't look like a rock. What was... Oh, it was a fucking whale. That's probably why. <laughs> yeah, all that crap was happening last time, wasn't it? Like, whales on the beach. Life is Strange, Episode 4, Dark Room. Oh, yeah, baby! Man, I'm so excited for this episode. This is so messed. Chloe's in a wheelchair now. Bloody dead whales it's on the beach. Weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like 
an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? I don't want to do this. this. Is seriously, the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. I don't want to change the past. You're I just want survivor, to Chloe. keep it. I know you have to deal with But so I didn't have much. much choice. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Talk about accident, blame William. What? Um. Talk about the accident, like. Obviously, you were replaced with your dad in the car accident. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? No. There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... Oh, shit. And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. Damn. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Oh. You mean Rachel? It's gotta be Rachel, unless I've changed that as well. Have I changed that? Wait, I'm gonna ask, is it Rachel? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. Oh my I didn't god. Even know her name. <laughs> this is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the she end of the She doesn't even know her. Uh. You think? Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But what? None of this makes sense. This is so I know weird. I seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is yeah. hella cold out here. Hella? He I hate that word, no offense. Oh my, this is so weird! I'm taken. <laughs> she doesn't even speak like that anymore. She hasn't even got a blue and purple hair. Damn. God damn it. Why did I have to change it? It didn't give me a choice. I had to. I didn't want to, but I had to. And now all this shit's happening. Is it for the best though? I don't know. It's too early to say. At the moment, it just, no, it doesn't seem the best. <laughs> Well, at least you decorated your house, I guess. I mean, that wasn't blue before, was it? I thought it was like all tattered oh, up from before. High-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. 
I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you're here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. <laughs> Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was <laughs> so. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Yes. Yes, ma'am. I'll go get you a drink on. Wait, what's this? Use joystick. Look. Whoa. What is that? Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Use. Chloe is still a punk at heart. Yes! But she can't stage dive anymore. Shit! It's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Huh. Oh, there's your water. Not yet. Bathroom area, gas mask, optional. <laughs> huh. This is so weird. This is all messed up. Snow globes are taking over. Oh, look, it's the lighthouse. I've just noticed. There's a lighthouse globestone. Look, look, look. That blue one. The blue big one in the back. Oh my god, it's so cute! Hello, Chloe. She likes fluffy animals now. Wow. No, he's Louis the Lamp. <coughs> this. I'm glad I took this photo. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. Oh, yeah, that was my fault. Oh, yeah. Cool. Is that she coming in use? Holy shit. Cool. Alright. Sorry for stalling. I'll get your water. Let's take it. Can I say, Max? I like your mouth. new cardigan. The purple, oh, the yeah. dark purple. It's no awesome. It's dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. <laughs> a podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Oh, man, it's because... It's because we were. You're right, it seemed like yesterday. What do you remember? What do you remember? I, I want to hear. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates, running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. <laughs> yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends? You have me! You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. Yeah, I am. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. I'm totally super max. I'm in my new favorite purple cardigan, because purple is my favorite color. Actually... Dark purple, like a midnight purple. Not really light purple. Midnight purple, like dark purple. But anyway, I'm I'm still super max. So, they love you. They love you so much. Just like I like I purple. Know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. 
I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. I can imagine. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Oh shit. Um. Uh, that's rude to say, can I? Yeah, I bet. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. <laughs> That's why I love you. Of course, I'm no a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Oh, shit! Now let's get this you... show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. You have to put that in there! I swear I won't fall asleep. The blue hair! Not when you're here. Not yet. Blue hair looks awesome on you, Chloe. I've always said that, and I miss it already. You used to have blue hair with a little purple tint at the end, and it was fucking awesome. Now, you got blonde hair. I'm not saying it doesn't look good, I just prefer blue hair. Okay. Tissues. Use. What are you doing? Making an origami? No. Okay. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's still got humor. Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. Yeah, I helped you. Now, I could search your shit, but that's rude. That's, nah. That's rude. Makeup! I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Yeah. What is that? I mean, looking at that, like, door thing, it just looks like a face. <laughs> like, I can't make out. It just looks like some sort of... Yeah, oh, whatever, whatever. I'm just going. What's this? Read. Oh. It's nice my parents sent a card, at least. Chloe, you know we love you and your inner hearts and thoughts. We hope to see you smiling face soon. Please be well. Ryan and Ven Venessa Clawfield. Oh, Vanessa. <laughs> My name's Jake. My name's Jake. <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> Thinking of you. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Finger of you, dear Chloe, I'm so sorry for what happened. Know that I'm always here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like, I hope you are well, etc. I know your life is different now and I don't want to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you are well. Love, Max. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Look at you, little wiener t-shirt! And that was a little uh, figurine over here, wasn't it? Yeah, look, it's right there. By Teddy. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Oh, cheers. I appreciate it. Um, what, where am I going? Do, 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 DVD, do, do, do. So here's the DVD player. Now I just need to find the DVD. On it. So on it, Chloe. I'm gonna get it done so fast. Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. Oh shit, pirate power. Can... No, we should put that on. Is it? Uh, here's the deal. Yes, I told you I'll find it fast. Now, what did you grab? 
What is it? No, don't fall asleep, Chloe. You said you wouldn't. You, you swore that you wouldn't. No? Oh, it's just happy, okay. Oh, this is sweet. Man, you're going to wake up with such a bad back sleeping like that. Trust me, I've I've done that before, like, when I've slept on the sofa, like, sitting upright. And when you wake up, your back is just like... <laughs> oh, it's probably not the best joke to make with uh, Chloe like that. Um, but you get what I mean. It's bad to sleep like that. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. <laughs> you are a bitch in the morning. It's the <laughs> Yesterday was such a blast. Yeah, it was, was. great. Seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't <laughs> even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Yes, because you said pretty please. So I'm on it. Oh, hey, William. You, you are William, right? Yeah, okay, thank God. Hmm. I, sh I should really, I, w I would speak, fuck it, I'm speaking, wait, someone's Victoria, oh shit, come by my room tonight, Max, we called, just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast, and everyone was worried too, if you want to talk, hit me up, K. Okay? love ya, Max, if you're mad, just tell me, K. Okay? silence, so you want, so if you want me to talk, my door is open, love you, this is so weird, this is just weird, wait, Chloe, Uh, cool, I've got a... <laughs> I thought I said it right. Cool, I've got a buttload of homework. I thought that buttload said something else for a second there. Like, yeah, anyway. But we'll get together soon. Don't tease me, it's been a long time. I know, I'll see you soon. <laughs> oh, man, you got loot. Oh, Alyssa. Hey, Max, it's a shame that you don't hang out with those... Oh, it's a shame that you hang out with those people. I thought you were different. Alyssa, I s saw you through that... TP at me. Oh my god, it was so not aiming at you. I swear, don't do it again. Taylor. Yeah, right, I cried like a bitch. Uh, oh wait, what? Max, thanks again for taking me to see my mum. I f think she wants my daughter instead of me. I think not. Your mum is a badass like you. Oh yeah, I cried like a bitch. So did I, you just didn't see me. It's okay to cry. It gets old. My stupid phone is about to die, so call me back. Nathan, oh my god, Nathan. Yo, yo, Max, you around? In the dark room, developing shots for the contest. Sweet! So no two whales for you. Not yet, I'll see you guys later, though. Peace out. This is so weird. Like, Nathan was, like, my arch enemy, and so was Victoria, and now they're, like, best buds. Oh, uh, what's going on? Uh, but, oh, I've already seen that. Uh, 
Maxine, this is your mum. We need to talk about your bills. Are you there? Yes, give me some time to answer. I can't text in every class. Some teachers get super pissed from people on their phone. Yes, it's because you're super rude. And please don't be so snippy. Sorry, long day of homework. You're not the only one. And that's why we're wondering if you need to spend so much. Uh, we want you to have everything you need. But scholarship doesn't cover everything. He said I could use a credit card when I needed it. I only bought film, not a camera. Maybe it's time to go digital. I'll call you later. I have to go. Don't pout. Love you. Hey honey, I hope you didn't forget the water to plant. I oh, water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either, mummy. Huh. Um, you. Hey William, um, am I bothering you? Why yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother <laughs> me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Um. Uh. Well, Chloe. I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Good. She mad at me. I'm glad you're here. Oh, fuck. Um. Now she ain't mad at me. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Yeah, I will. Care room. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. Jesus. Insurance helps, but I... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? I don't actually. Um, I know I know that saying, but I don't get the joke or reference you was trying to make. Whatever, Joyce. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Well, I don't know. This is, um... You know, you've got crazy weather going on. You've got, like, raining whales. Well, they're not actually raining. I, I like to imagine they, like, fell from the sky and landed on the beach. <laughs> what do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. Um Is there any point asking about them lot? Nah, it's not. I'll get to it. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please keep me from these bills whenever you want. Now I kind of want to ask you about them. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, fuck Hello again, it. William. Uh, Rachel Amber. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Okay, Prescott family. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question? Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. <laughs> you at Okay, yep. Wait, so... Wait, has Joyce got a different, um... A different job now? She doesn't work at that, like, motel? Wait, what the hell is that? Look oh. at all these dead birds. It 
It's happening here too. This is so fucked. It's a dog. I'm sorry, Bongo Kitty. Oh, is he cat? You passed on before I changed this reality. No. Drawing. Chloe actually moved our drawing so she could see it from her room. Oh, Chloe. Wouldn't that get all soggy and wet if it rains? I'm just saying. The swing's gone! Oh man. The swing is gone now. It must have been sad for Chloe when William took it down. Oh shit. Right, I gotta get this, the um, what is it I'm looking for? The morphine. That's right. So um, can't go through these doors yet. Oh, what's that? No, 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 no. We don't need to look at it. Go. So wait, whose room is this then? This used to be Chloe's. Oh, it's just like a spare room now. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. There's a letter. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Dear Joyce, thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I'm so sorry that I can't help you with the loan at this time. Like everybody else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug and my best wishes. Love, Aunt Dorothy. There's clutches. Can we look in the box? Always? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Then go on! What are you waiting for? Shoes. Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Look at this. I never heard much about William's brother. Hey Bill, sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been pulling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work is in these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favourite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Your brother, Aaron. I can sit on this. Oh. I guess we stopped growing up together. Well, that was depressing. Oh, <gasps> look at the poster. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Yeah, um, probably not how this At game works. we never had to hide from step douche. Let's sit down and ponder on our mind. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive. That would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again. And who am I to judge? Okay. We're getting up. <sighs> I st still don't know if this, this life is better or not. I can't... I can't decide. Surely that's going to be the big choice at one point of whether to decide if you want it how it was or this life I can't see a god dang thing oh, wait there's a light switch was that a light switch switch on yes let there be light the mirror cabinet is this what I'm looking for here it is yes it is I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend yeah. Don't need that one. Wait, is that blue hair dye? Open. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Oh. Oh. Nothing here. Okay. She doesn't have a blue hair dye. Wait, switch off. Don't want to waste the bills. Got to think like that. Can I go in here? I can. Don't know why I want to, but. It's a bit 
Oh shit. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Oh, okay. I thought you were mad at me there. I'll just come barging in your room like, hey! <laughs> Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Chloe. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Chloe needs help. I hope so. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much. And she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. Well, shit. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good. I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. How about William? I have to tell What's it you like with him back? how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. William's still the same. Chloe and William. Um... William's still the same. Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? For better and for worse. But always for the better. I I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. It sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. How about yourself, Joyce? How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. A lot of work. Eco Havoc, David Madsen. David Madsen. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, I was <laughs> curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Jesus Christ, really? He's like the completely opposite in... Oh, well, this world is literally just the opposite to everything else. Um, Eco Havoc. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this Eco Havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Yeah, that is a bit weird, isn't it? Uh, a lot of work. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. I better get back to Chloe now. Oh. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Yeah, um, Nathan's kind of like my best bud for some reason. Like, I wish he wasn't, but... Um, I, I, I tried my best staying away from him, but he seems to be like my best bud now, so, look. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. What did it say? Arcadia Bay Spinal Center, dear Mr. and Mrs. Price. Uh, as we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory... <laughs> System is showing signs of a rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent anomia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I am committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand that reality that res 
Hospital re re failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, in, and I'm proud to be working with her. I just want you as a parent to be prepared for any of any and all possibilities. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. Best, Dr. Anton Philbus. Yeah, I better get this morphine to, like, Chloe. She's been waiting a long time, and she kind of looked like she was in pain before I even left. So, I hope this doesn't affect anything. Like, I, I don't walk in and she's like, Jesus for Christ, Max! Take your time! I hope not. Wait, I'm here. Holy shit, I've just realised. This used to be the garage. I've just realised, of all things. Yeah, yeah, the morphine. Finally, uh, give me the blue pill. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm nosy but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy and painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me, I will. What am I doing? Did I do I do it right? Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Yes, <laughs> Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. No. You said it was over here, yeah? Yeah. Take. Yes. I got it. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Oh yeah. Turn the page. Oh, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. <laughs> There's still time for you. God damn it, Chloe. God damn it. Why did you have to put that on? I don't mean it like that. Stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry this is this. About this. This, all this, and that, and and this, and that, this. Look, look, we're in. Max, do you mind what? turning the page? Sorry, I was I'm too busy, as you can see. <laughs> Sorry, I was uh, I was lost in four. <laughs> Did you get it? Because I was in pancakes. my head. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo. Maybe I could. Yes, Max. Listen, Please. Max. You you do have your powers My yet. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I know. I saw the document. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. 
I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. You understand? What? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. You want me to- What? Right now? No, 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 no. That's why we're time traveling right now. We're we're going. <laughs> what the? F Can't I? Just <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Should I just click? I don't know. Cause I don't know. I want to time travel. Like I don't want to kill you and then time travel and then that fucks something over. I I don't know. I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wa wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please, help me, Max. Oh god damn it, now I've got to make a choice. That was just some like persuasion right there. <laughs> I can't just do it! Because then Joyce and bloody William would just come in and just be like, what the fuck, Max? No, I can't. Oh, fuck it. Chloe, I'll just drift to sleep. Dreaming of us here together. Forever. Just bloody rewind time! You look at that photo and just do your shit. Just... Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. This isn't... This is happening, isn't it? It's happening. Son of a... No. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. I won't. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Okay, well. Well, fuck. That just happened. Max, can you please just rewind time and do something, please? Can we do it now? Re yes, focus. Focus. I'm sorry, William. I hope this works. <laughs> can you imagine if it didn't work? Oh yeah, I've got to do it myself, haven't I? Focus it. Focus it. Come on. Almost got it. Yes. William, I'm sorry, man. Newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. I'm sorry, William. I've got to do this. Hello? You've changed too hey, much, and it's for the worse. Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. I really wish I could do something, but I can't. Jeez. That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Jesus. Aha! 
You can't hide from me forever. Oh. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving you. That makes all of us. Fuck me, man. Knowing that's like the last time you're gonna see him. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Well, everything's changing again. Whoa, well, shit. It's for the best, yeah. That... Having him around just... It just messed, messed a lot of things up. Oh, fuck. I forgot about that knob. Shit. I hope I'm right about this. You got your grey jacket back. Chloe, you're alive. Yes. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. <laughs> you were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay. I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? Um, I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Uh, yeah, I kind of... Not anymore. Yeah. I'm just spaced out, too. You died. Welcome back to the real world, Max. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. I don't know, why not? Well, we're gonna pause it there. That's a great time to end it. Almost an hour long, but you know, that was getting into getting into the episode. There was a lot going on, and I wanted to do everything like read everything and stuff because you know that was an important scene so sorry if it was a bit slow but hopefully you know it'll pick up but anyway like a favorite if you've enjoyed subscribe to us and i'll see you in the next episode so see you later guys